Greetings. This is a planetary alignment and earthquake watch for March 2 through to March 4, 2014. We are looking at an animated view of two strong planetary alignments of Venus Sun Uranus and Mars Venus Mercury that fall during this time frame, which may be indicative of a 7 magnitude earthquake at high latitudes in the southern hemisphere during this watch. We're now looking at the March ephemeris and there are significant celestial interactions the first week of the month with the main player or planet being Venus involved in two separate alignments in its own right. Venus opposes Uranus heliocentrically on March 2nd and we have the inner solar system of Mercury, Venus and Mars involved in a significant alignment and a long duration alignment which will take the first week of the month to complete. Now we have Mercury moving across or transiting the Sun from the perspective of Mars and there are a series of celestial interactions and magnetic connections which need to be taken into account and I feel these interactions should produce a significant earthquake, possibly 7 magnitude at high latitudes during this watch period. Not only do we have a significant array of planetary alignments and celestial interactions but we also have three planetary retrogrades of significance the first week of the month of March. We have Mars turning retrograde March 1st the following day. We have Saturn going in retrograde and Jupiter comes out of its retrograde and going direct on March 6th. It is worth noting that February 6, 2013 a magnitude 8 earthquake struck the Santa Cruz Islands region and a significant earthquake swarm followed. Now all this activity began on January 30th just as Jupiter went direct. We had a series of 6 magnitude earthquakes occurring from January 30 to February 2nd and this escalated to a magnitude 8.0 four days later on February 6th which is a very powerful and widely felt earthquake for the region. Now the important aspect is this time round things are opposite. We actually have Jupiter going direct after the retrograde of Saturn. Now we have a shorter time span this time round in 2014 with only four days of separation but we also have an extra retrograde cycle to consider and that is Mars. So I feel that there is a very strong potential of a very large earthquake during this time frame or the first week of March. We're now going to look at this a little bit more closely and look at the past. Not only did we have a magnitude 8.0 occurring in between both of these retrograde cycles of Jupiter and Saturn, but we have a look. This occurs roughly every 20 years due to the orbits of both planets. Now the tight symmetry occurred in 1973 where we had two earthquakes registering magnitude 6.6. .6. Back in 1974 we also had an earthquake 6.7 magnitude in Russia, very close to this time frame. And a few days prior to the retrograde cycles of Saturn and Jupiter going direct in 1955 we had a magnitude 8.0 in the Kermatic Islands region. We're now looking at the important lunar influences which occurring during this time frame of March 2 to 4 we have two strong connections. We have the Moon conjoining Uranus at 9.50 on March 3rd and a day later we have the Moon opposing Mars at 1443 UTC. Now this is important as Mars, Venus and Mercury are involved in an alignment we also have the Moon being involved as well. There is important symmetry regarding the Mars and Saturn retrogrades with the Moon's overhead or longitudinal position covering the same region on the Earth and that's the Atlantic Ocean and also the South American regions and these will be the main areas for concern during this watch. Now the orbital extreme points are an important feature in this work and analysis. More information can be found at solarwatcher.net. And finally taking this one step further and looking more closely into the Mars retrograde cycle with respect to Jupiter's and Saturn's and we do see that when the Mars retrograde cycles begins there is an uptick in volcanic activations and that is the important aspect of this watch. There may be strong volcanic activity or a significant rise in volcanic unrest during the first week of the month of March. And now for the forecast for this period I do feel there's a potential and a very high possibility of a 7.2 to 7.5 magnitude earthquake to occur at high latitudes in the southern hemisphere and that's the assessment for this watch period. Now with the main areas for concern being the Macquarie Islands region just south of New Zealand and south of Australia being the number one area for concern. And the second area for concern will be the South Atlantic Ocean specifically, the South Sandwich Islands region, Scotia Sea, South Georgia Islands or the Drake Passage. These will be the main areas for concern. And stretching east of this region we can even consider South of Africa and also the Bouvet Islands region. And that's my planetary alignment and earthquake watch for March 2 through 4, 
2014. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers, as well as a new monthly newsletter. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.